video looks at what is mental health, a video for children in Key Stage 2 from East Lancashire Hospital Trust Mental Health Support Team. What is mental health? Mental health is just as important as physical health. We are all born with mental health. So this is where we create our emotions, thoughts and feelings and moods in our brain. And just like physical health, it can take some looking after. There are many things that can happen that can impact on our mental health, just the same as our physical health. So mental health refers to the way that we think, feel and behave. So what is mental health? Our mental health includes these three areas, emotional well-being, psychological well-being and social well-being. What is emotional well-being? Emotional well-being is our ability to make positive emotions, moods, thoughts and feelings. It's also our ability to adapt when facing situations that may be stressful or unpleasant. This creates resilience, the ability to bounce back when things get a bit tricky or upsetting. Positive emotions allow us to focus on the good and manage the difficult in a healthy way. It is also about knowing when things are not okay and being able to ask for help. What is psychological well-being? Psycho, taken from the Greek term, means the soul and mind. Logical is how we make sense of things. So psychological well-being is how our brain makes sense of ourselves, others and our world. Psychological well-being means that we are able to accept who we are, able to think things through and to understand mood. It is also about our self-esteem and confidence, so the way that we talk to and think about ourselves, our understanding of what is important to us and what we know we are good at. What is social well-being? Social well-being means developing meaningful, happy relationships. These are relationships that are important to you and make your life better. It also means how happy we are at school, home and with friends. It is important that we have people and places that we feel safe and loved. Things that can impact mental health. There are lots of things that can impact on mental health. Falling out with friends, stress of school, worrying about family and friends. And it's quite normal to get upset when you've had a falling out with a friend and normal to get frustrated when you are struggling to learn something new. The important thing here is to talk about what it is that is upsetting you and what is making you feel frustrated. We can feel lots of different emotions during the day and it's important to express these emotions in a helpful way by talking about it because if we keep them bottled up, we can have a bit of an emotional explosion. This can come out in many ways, getting upset, getting angry, shouting at someone, not wanting to play with friends. However, when we talk about things that upset us, it can release some of these emotions before it becomes a bigger problem. Mental health is a little bit like an iceberg. So the tip of the iceberg people can see, but the majority of the iceberg is what people can't see. So the thing with mental health is that unlike physical health, people cannot always see what is happening or what is going on for someone. So people can go about their day and activities and no one would know if they are happy, sad, stressed or worried. And this is why it's important to be kind to others and yourself. Mental health support. It is normal to have good days and bad days. It's normal to worry, get upset, get angry and annoyed. In some cases, we can become a little stuck with emotions. So we could worry a lot about lots of different things, or we could feel sad a lot, but not sure why. In these cases, you may need some support. So if you're feeling poorly, where would you go? The doctor. And just the same as physical health, there are doctors, nurses, therapists and counsellors that help people with their mental health. How do we look after our mental health? 
Just like our physical health, there are things that we can do to make sure that we have positive mental health. Sleeping, eating and drinking well are very important for our mental health. Exercise and playing is very important for our mental health. Talking about how we are feeling and planning nice things to do with people that we care about. Creating positive routines, such as a good bedtime routine, which involves some quiet time, and this could be reading or meditation. Be kind to yourself, be proud of who you are. Find a hobby or an interest that makes you happy, such as Lego, dancing, swimming and drawing. The three important things to take away from this video is that we all have mental health. We have to be kind to your mind. Be kind, think kind and stay kind. Thank you very much for watching the video.